All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, Responsive Web Design. Learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. Step eight. So the transform origin property is used to set the point around which a CSS transformation is applied. For example, when performing a rotate, which we will do later in this project, the transform origin determines around which point the element is rotated. Okay, so when we rotate these lines, it'll all go right around here, more than likely. No, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna give the line selector a transform origin property of 0%, 0%. And this is gonna offset the origin point by 0% from the left and 0% from the top, setting it to the top left corner of the element. Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> what? Of the line? So it means here, right? The top left. Do we even need top? Well, I guess we do. I guess there's something in probably goes crazy if you don't do that. So yeah, it'll probably set the origin to right here because top is the, I guess the top of the line and then the left is way over here, right? So let's come over here and slap that in there. Let's say transform hyphen origin is now 0% space 0%. Nope, almost had it right. There we go. And so it didn't do anything, but now we know the origin is here instead of he here. I don't know. Anyway, so let's uh, check it. Looks good and submitted. We're going to, if I can remember, I'll try to change this when we actually start rotating so we can see the thing like make a star or something, whatever. Anyway, now we're on to step nine and we'll see you next time.